Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to a special episode of my R videos here on YouTube. First of all, if this video is helpful to you, then please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. That would be very much appreciated. So today we're going to look at how to recode uh, numeric values or in other words, Likert scale values. Because I've taken a look on YouTube and I couldn't really find a clear video which explains it really easily. So I was like, I'm going to make that video for you guys because it is actually quite easy if you know what to do. And that's what I will be showing you guys. So first of all, we're going to install two packages. If you have installed them already, then just do library and then between brackets tidy verse. And then uh, the other package we're going to install is going to be library and then haven. So you select these two packages and run the code by pressing Ctrl Enter. And today we're going to work with a data set which I made myself. And we're going to take a look at it by pressing View. And then uh, going for Practice. And then press Ctrl Enter. And then we can see over here a very, very small data set I made with three motivation uh, variables. Motivation 1, Motivation 2 and Motivation 3. And what we can actually see is that the values of motivation 1 and 2 are really high for these respondents and the values of motivation 3 are really low. And that might be just like in your survey that you reverse coded one of the questions in your questionnaire or in your survey. So if you have a reversed question, then you should in R reverse these values into the opposite one. So 1 should become a 5, 2 should become a 4, etc. And how do you do that? Well, I'm going to show you because it's actually really, really easy. Um, we're going to create a new data set of this, which we will call uh, reversed. It's going to be the name of our new data set. And it's going to be the practice, practice data set. And then the pipe operator by pressing Ctrl Shift M. And then what we're going to do is mutate. And then between brackets, uh, the name of our new variable and it's going to be motivation free and then lower lower uh, lower dash and then recode it and it's going to consist oh so the is sign equal sign it's going to be uh, consisting of recode function and then between brackets first of all the the uh, the variable we're gonna recode which is going to be motivation free and then a comma, and then an enter, and then between single quote marks, the value you want to change. So a one between single quote marks is going to be a five, and then a comma, and then an enter, and a two between single quote marks is going to be a four, and then a comma. And then a three will become a three, and this is important that you include that one as well. You can't skip it, otherwise the new variable won't have the value three and you need it. A 4 between single quotation marks is going to be a 2, comma, and then a 5 uh, between single quote marks is going to be a 1. And then, no, no more commas, and then uh, the pipe operator again, so Ctrl Shift M, and then view, just because it makes it easier to now view the whole, uh, to view the whole data set. And if you now press Ctrl Enter, then a new data set will open. Which is called, uh, which was called, uh, recoded. And you can see that besides motivation one, two, and three, we now have another motivation variable with recoded, so therefore reversed values. So a one became a five, a two became a four, and a three stayed a three. So this is how you can actually, it's really easy. This is how you can recode Likert skill items or uh, numeric variables. It's easy like that, just, lose sing just use single quotation marks. I hope this video was helpful to you. It was really short, uh, but I couldn't find this on YouTube. So I hope that this helped you guys out. If it did, then please leave a like on this video. And furthermore, even more important, subscribe to this YouTube channel because I will be uploading way more R videos. And for now, guys, I'll see you on the next tutorial. Ciao.